Okay, so for ears, um, make sure that you are measuring where your ears line up. Mine are right about the base of my eyebrow and almost the center of my lips. So I'm going to make those nice lines here so that I know how long my ear should be. I'm going to do that on both sides of the head. I can always smooth those lines away if I need to, but that lets me know how big my ears need to be. I'm going to put that to the side for a moment. I'm going to take some more of my Sculpey. Softening it. too much. Okay. So then, like so many other parts of the face, I'm going to start with a ball. I am going to flatten one side of that. So I'm starting to make my ear shape. I'm going to hold it up to the portrait to see. And uh, it's slightly too big, which is what I want. Um, so I make this just slightly too big because to get the curl that most of us have, um, so I have, by the way, one slightly thinner edge, one slightly thicker edge. The thicker edge I am going to start rolling the edge of. Um, and that stops in different places on all of us, so hopefully you have a picture. And I'm going to create that curl. You see how it's starting to make an ear shape. You'll want a picture of your ears. You're not working from, you know, memory. Most of us don't really know what our ears look like exactly anyway. I don't stare at them very often. So I'm making that shape. And then I'm going to set it here. Um, and look at a picture. See where your ears line up. pretty dang far back on my head, so that's perfect. That looks good for where it curls. And if you have too much, it's really easy to cut off some of that extra. Um, so I'm going to open this up, and I made it slightly too big. So I'm going to take just my needle tool and just cut off a bit on the bottom side. And hopefully that's going to be, yes, a better fit. So like that. Doesn't look much like an ear yet, that's okay. This side of it, we're going to press into your head where your ear joins. And then you have the back flapping out so you can move them however far off your head you need to. Get rid of my line now. I really do think I just had too much clay in general, so I'm going to cut some more off. You can always take the whole ear off and start again if that's easier. If your clay gets too soft, 
um, let it set for sit just for a few minutes so it cools down and then it'll get a little so, um, a little tougher if you need it to. It's not holding shape. Um, and then you would want to probably take a needle tool and mark out where things are on your ears. I'm also going to make a little bit of a sharper line because my ear doesn't slope as much as I had it. Sloping, so there's more definition there. And then I have a pretty straight line from here down. And I know that I'm going to make a little hole right in here. It doesn't have to be super deep, but that way you can start working to make this more three-dimensional. I don't like it would really look. So that you have an ear. Um, and you just want to make sure when you're looking at it straight on that you think about how far it needs to stick out. Whatever that is for you. <laughs> and then you would repeat for the other ear.